What up guys, your boy Deuce here, and welcome to the first review of me and my boy Juke's Craft Brew Review Channel. We're going to be doing a lot of beer reviews. We're going to also be doing other uh, videos on here, just stuff we like to do. We also have another channel uh, dedicated to gaming. You can check that out in the sidebar for other channels if you're interested in that. But anyway, let's get right into it. Today we're going to be reviewing a craft beer, and this is from Springhouse Brewing Company. They're located in Lancaster. Pennsylvania, in case you guys are wondering. Um, actually, I don't know if they're, I know they've been around for a little while. To me, they're a newer brew that I'm trying. Um, I came across them. I like uh, their theme. They kind of go with this like whole mantra theme. They also have some stuff that's dedicated to like lore with some of their beers. Um, the one we're going to be trying today, and I actually seen this and it caught my eye because I've been wanting to try a beer like this for a while. This is the Astounding She Monster Mango IPA. So, I do like IPAs, one of my favorite beers. Um, I like hoppy beers. Um, I've been wanting to try a mango IPA for a while, um, to see how it is. I don't like really sweet beers, so uh, we're going to see what this is like. Whether it has really a lot of sweetness, or if it just kind of has a touch of sweetness and you get that hoppiness to it, that's what I'm kind of expecting. They don't do, this actually came in cans, I don't know if they do this in bottles. If you guys have tried this before, comments below. Take a look at the other side of the can. Um, I like the fact that they put, you know, two different designs. They have this crazy chick looking monster chick on the front. On the back they just have, you know, a little bit different. It's a uh, ale brewed with mango. And as you can see, it's going to tell us there that it is a 7.1 ABV alcohol by volume. It's a mango IPA, um, 12 fluid ounces. There you can see it's brewed and canned by the Springhouse Brewing Company in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So let's crack this bad boy open. Um, I did chill this really good because for me at least, some people like to try their beers at a warmer. Um, I like to try my beers, especially fruity beers, something with an IPA with a mango, I like to try it at a colder temperature. Um, on this channel, this is kind of like your average Joe drinking channel. You're not going to see a sh at least me. Um, I don't know if Juke's going to do his any differently. I'm generally using a regular drinking glass. I'm not using crazy fancy glasses and stuff like that because for me, when I'm drinking, I generally, I'll grab a glass like this, either drink out the can or I like to pour it in, just aerate it a little bit. I'm not super uppity about my beer. So let's crack this bad boy open, get a smell on it, get a taste on it, see what it's like. Oh, and by the way, let's see when this was brewed. Um, this was canned on... I don't know if you guys can see that. 210 of 16, so this is fresh. That's how we like our beers, fresh. So let's crack this bad boy open. Uh, not a lot of carbonation, just get a little smell. It's in the can. Has a really has a really dank hoppy smell to it. I'm not smelling a lot of mango. Let's pour this. Let's do it gently. Oh, boom. You know, get it all out. Drop a little bit, but it has a real dank smell. Um, not a huge head on it. It's got, what, like, just about a finger of head. That's what she said. Um, yeah, it's got about a finger of head. Not super carbonated. The color on it is very hazy. Let's see if I can show this to you guys. So there you go. As you guys can see, it is super, super hazy. Um... It's not clear. I expect it to be a little bit more on the clear side, but I think that's from the mango. There's no sediment. I'm guessing they filter the beer. There's little bits of stuff maybe in it, but it's not unfiltered. It's definitely a filtered beer. As you can see, it's this really nice gold color. Real nice gold color, and it is not super clear. So that is your visual profile on it. Now let's get a um, smell and taste on this. Okay, so we got the... Uh, I'm really loving the golden color on this. Let's get a smell on this. I'm just gonna basically do this, give it a little bit of smell. It does have a dang smell to it. It's, yeah, you guys can hear me smelling it. Loving it. I don't smell mango. I smell like a very, very slight sweet smell. You can tell, definitely tell there's a sweet fruit in it. You guys can see, show you the can while I'm doing this. Um, comments below if you want me to do this on camera, how you guys like me to shoot this. Kind of going to go with what you guys think. There's a can. It does. You, you definitely get the 
Definitely get the sweetness of the mango, but it's not overpowering. Here it is. Cheers, guys. Boop. Let's see what it tastes like. It's definitely hoppy. It's not super hoppy, but uh, you can definitely, like I said, you can smell that like dank hoppy f uh, smell to it. Um, the mango does come through. It doesn't come through as your typical mango. Like if you would try it in like a grocery store, like if you just get a mango and throw it in your beer or whatever, it comes through more of I want to say as like a a sweet, almost like a honeyish flavor. But it is really good beer. Try another. Let's get another sip on it. Yeah, it definitely is a really smooth beer. Not super hoppy. Not crazy, crazy bitter, super hoppy. Um, but you can definitely get that sweetness coming through from the mango. Um, the can really doesn't tell you the IBUs, which is the uh, international bitter units of how bitter the beer is. But it's not. I'd say maybe it's a, in the 50s, maybe in the 40s. It's not a really bitter beer. Um but it does have, it is a really, really unique flavor. You get that hoppy flavor, but you definitely get that real nice sweetness to it from the mango. And like I said, when you smell it in the can, it has a really, really dank smell to it. But when you smell it in a glass after it's been aerated, it uh, has a really nice hoppy but sweet smell to it. And Yeah, the first taste you get that nice sweetness from the mango and just that little bit of bitterness from the hop. It's a really refreshing beer. No weird aftertaste, nothing. Um, I'm just going to do this on a scale from like one to five. I would definitely give this beer an easy four and a half. This is a nice, this would be a nice summertime beer. Get it real nice and chill. Definitely easy drinking. It's a very easy drinking beer. But... Uh so there you have it guys the first review of the craft brew reviews i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please make sure to leave a comments below hit that subscribe button if there's beers you want us to try if we can get our hands on them leave that in the comments below also let us know if there's anything you'd like to see us change or just uh say what's up but thanks for watching guys as always i'm your boy deuce take it easy guys